My name is uh, JJ Jean-Jacques Trochon. I'm a captain uh, on Airbus 380 with Air France. Hier, mein Name ist Victor Helmi. Ich äh, bin zurzeit der Leiter der Klinik in Mabea in Südspanien. My name is Jay Mitchell. I'm a professor of genetics and complex diseases at Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. My name is Yvon Le Mao. I am an ecophysiologist. I'm Robin Menage. I'm a scientist working at King's College London. Uh, I'm uh, um, Pierre Croisi. I'm professor of radiology. My name is Leonard Wilhelmi. Ich uh, bin in diese Fastenfamilie Buchinger Wilhelmi reingeboren. So my name is Magali Vialon. I'm working uh, in Lyon, in France, in the uh, INSERM and, and CNRS uh, laboratory, which is called Creatis. Yesterday we had a, a wonderful talk uh, with um, excellent scientists around and um, um, my part was explaining uh, what uh, I've done uh, to get myself out of illness. Um, I was extremely healed for uh, a few years, um, given up to uh, five years if lucky uh, to live and uh, I came up with a some sort of a I would say protocol without being really one but elements of a protocol of a potential protocol for uh, potentially um, all types of cancers. My talk was about the gut microbiome because this is a very new and intense topic there's so many things we have to learn about the gut microbiome and we have also to be careful not to rush to interpretations. And during my talk, I'll reveal the results of the study done at the clinic where we have studied the gut microbiome of 15 persons doing a 10 day fasting for the first time in the world. When I started to study impro penguins, which fast for four months during the Antarctic winter, I thought they have a unique mechanism that humans don't have. I know today it's wrong. All the process, physi physiological processes uh, we found uh, in uh, penguins, but also in other birds or in mammals, are similar to what happens in humans when fasting. Um, yesterday I talked about our research on protein restriction as it relates to the benefits of calorie restriction. There's a long-standing question in the field of longevity extension by dietary restriction that um, whether it's actually the calories or if, if, if certain calories are more important than others. And there's actually quite a bit of research recently showing that protein calories are more important. So we were interested in the metabolism of protein restriction and how it relates to fasting. Um, this, this year we were presenting some early results, a feasibility study on how MRI and MR spectroscopy, so two complex techniques, can help in understanding the mechanism of the benefits of um, the fasting. I think in the near term, um, we need to understand the mechanisms. How does this work? So I think there, there is a, um, a, a general, um, people are puzzled about fasting. Uh, it's something they read on the internet and there's a little bit of disbelief that it can actually have these, um, it can, that it can cure everything. So I, I think we really, it's, it's our job, the scientists, the, the biomedical researchers to understand how it really works in such a way that um, it, it's provable. Uh, since there are many expectations in terms of aging, in terms of uh, uh, protection, uh, cancer protection, and so on, so I, there is a whole scope of uh, future research. 
In the future, we, we should uh, first uh, try to understand uh, why, uh, for example, the Bohinga method is so efficient. So microbiome fasting is one, one team that's going to grow together, I, I really believe. Jetzt gibt es Parameter wie zum Beispiel das Mikrobiom oder andere Sachen, die auch gerade in der Forschung sind, die einem vielleicht ermöglichen, viel personalisierteres Fasten zu machen, also viel mehr auf die Person, auf die spezifische, spezifische körperlichen Eigenschaften der Menschen und äh, vielleicht auch viel mehr indikationsbezogenes Fasten zu machen. And I think for the future, a very intense area of, fast, of study will be to understand personalized response to fasting to adapt fasting uh, for patients. The Congress was amazing because the organization was perfect. Everything was easy. The location is nice. It's like holidays for me. And what is fascinating in, in this uh, Congress is that you have a uh, all specialists uh, interested in fasting unified and, and at the same place. And this is really the, the key uh, thing uh, that has been organized by Françoise uh, Boringer Villelmi in this Congress. And it was very important for me to see the presentation from Matt um, Madsen, uh, because he's in a completely different field and uh, we do parallels between our knowledge. Und der Kongress war super, weil die Kliniker und die Forscher sich zusammengetroffen haben. Und äh, ich denke, dass beide Welten extrem voneinander profitieren können. Sowohl wir in der Art und Weise, wie wir behandeln und die Forschung in der Art und Weise, wie sie forscht. Die Art und Weise auch, wie wir äh, den Patienten oder den Menschen im Fasten äh, sehen, als multidimensionalen äh, Menschen in einem multidimensionalen Fasten. Prozess ist es genau die Art von Kongress, die wir auch verkörpern und unter der wir stehen können. Und zwar hier steht der Mensch als Ganzes im Vordergrund. Well, I enjoyed the conference very much. I appreciate the um, translational um, aspects of it. Und dann natürlich der spirituelle Aspekt des Fastens mit Niklaus Branschen, der ein treuer Begleiter des Hauses ist, der wirklich auch sagt, also unseren Urgroßvater zitiert hat und gesagt, Fasten ist für ihn Stille. Uh, each time the scientific level of this international congress uh, is increasing, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm.